Whether it's playing good music or giving hot takes on sports, 90.3 The Rock has been giving students an opportunity to get on the air for 41 years and counting. I'm standing outside Thompson Bowling Arena, where 700 miles from here, the volunteers are still dancing. They'll be facing off against the Florida Atlantic Owls in Madison Square Garden, where a win would send the volunteers to their second Elite Eight in program history. The Tennessee Volunteers started SEC play over the weekend where they faced off against the Missouri Tigers in a three-game road series. Volunteers dropped all three games, but they'll be looking to bounce back as they host the Western Carolina Catamounts on Tuesday and the Texas A&M Aggies over the weekend. I'm standing inside the Knoxville Civic Coliseum where the Knoxville Ice Bears just had a 5-1 win over the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs. But a hockey puck wasn't the only thing that made its way onto the ice tonight. The Tennessee Volunteers started off their season at the MLB Desert Invitational at Salt River Fields in Arizona. The Vols made their way back to Knoxville to kick off the home season in Lindsey Nelson Stadium with a back-to-back -back home series versus Alabama A&M on February 22nd and 23rd. Giving students like Dominique Ruiz an opportunity to get back out on the diamond to root on his baseball Vols. Honestly, I've never been at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. Uh, it's my first time, but it's really good to be back at a baseball stadium. I really miss coming out to the games and um, just like feeling the energy that baseball stadiums bring. During their time in Arizona, the Volunteers dropped two out of their first three games, taking losses to Grand Canyon and Arizona. After the initial losses, the Vols cleaned it up with two shutout wins against UC San Diego and the home opener against Alabama A&M on February 22nd. Fans like Grayson Peterson blame a slow start on the lack of playing time for some of the new faces on the Volunteers roster. The loss of not being able to play Maui and uh, uh, just uh, other players and also just being a new team, not really meshing completely yet. I think we have a lot to prove still. I think we have a lot of teamwork to, to build on. I think that's been seen the last two games. The Volunteers swept the Alabama A&M Bulldogs with wins of 10 to nothing and 23 to one. Tennessee will stay at home as it will host the Dayton Flyers for a three game home series. For WGK, this is Jackson Cannell. During Friday night's game, the Knoxville Ice Bears brought back Cupid's Undie Toss Night. Fans were encouraged to bring sealed packages of undergarments that they could throw onto the rink after the Ice Bears scored their first goal. From there, the Ice Bears organization would give them to communities in need, invoking a reaction from some fans. To be honest with you, I'm just happy that they're willing to reach out to the community the way that they do. and it's. It just makes a heart melt when they do stuff like that. The Ice Bears, along with goalie Christian Stead, were not donating anything to the opposing team, as Christian only let one goal slip by while saving 33 others. This capped off a three-game win streak that left fans with high praises about where their team stands. This seems like a game where I don't think there was anything there is to complain about. 5-1 win, I'm sure they led in shots, but scoring more goals is what matters in the game. It was all fun and games for Ice Bears fans on Friday night as the 5-1 win advances them to 21-12 and 12 on the season. The Ice Bears will hit the road to Alabama where they will play the Birmingham Bulls on Saturday, February 11th. For WTK, this is Jackson Cannell. The Rock Solid Sports Show has been broadcasting from the cellar of Andy Holt Tower at the station of 90.3 The Rock for years now. It has given students like Riley Hamilton the ability to grow and get ready to make their move into the professional world. The opportunities they afford to students, right? It's a, a way for people to get their foot in the door, to be in these rooms, to be in these, you know, post-game scrums at baseball or to interview Josh Heupel post-game. Like, that kind of experience for a student, invaluable as they try to make that transition to the next level. Not only has it helped students grow, but it has also provided them with amazing opportunities to cover sports that they didn't think they would get the chance to cover, like sophomore Dominic Throngard. Recently, I've really been loving covering the One Knox soccer team because they're new and so we're getting in on the ground floor and it gives us a lot of opportunity to uh, grow with that team and get a lot of opportunities for other students down the road who may end up being interested in soccer. It's safe to say the opportunities WTK has offered has helped jumpstart many careers and will continue to be the birthplace for careers to come. You can tune in to Rock Solid Sports on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. For UT Today, this is Jackson Cannell.